Hello and welcome to my channel. In this episode I will show you some basics. If it works with electronic and made some device like program cartridges for old computers like the C64, you will probably get contact with EEPROMs. In the beginning of working with these chips you will make mistakes in programming or you choose the wrong EEPROM and this doesn't fit in your circuit. In this case you have to erase these EEPROMs so you can use it again. I will show you in this video how you can erase an EEPROM with UV light and how to check if you are successful. I don't use an, an EEPROM so I can erase this chip in the programmer and enough talked enjoy this video and let's start it to erase EEPROMs I use this cheap EEPROM eraser I bought on uh, Amazon I put the link in the description and I have here some EEPROMs that I want to erase these uh, STM27C256B EEPROMs it's from a project that I have mistaken to uh, write on these chips and now I want to erase them to use them in future projects. On this, uh, this device is uh, very easy to use for an on off switch and um, you can switch it on or you can uh, put a time. The best results I have on here yeah, the three but that not means <laughs> this uh, it's three minutes working. I think is uh, 30 minutes working, but I will show you later. And now we get to the computer in the program with the programmer and we check what is on this EEPROM and then we erase them. And then I will show you how to check again if they are empty. So this is step one on the way to erase your EEPROM. Um, I put the EEPROM in this programmer, like so. And you see I have opened the program, what is programmer. And the first step is you have to choose the IC. So my IC is... Uh, already chosen. In this case it's an STM27C256B and DIP28 package. We select this. It's in here and now you press read. Press read a second time and you see it's already in and as here it's already programmed. So this is step one. For step two, we need a little device, and this is this here. And this is step two the process of erasing this EEPROM. So the EEPROM eraser is set up, it's connected to mains voltage and we open the tray, take this EEPROM in here, close this and a safe result I have with, to put this on three, it's not three minutes, I told you before. Switch on. There's a little blue light. 
if you see I don't know if you see this on camera so now it's running and if this clock is in the off position it went off and then we check in the program again so see you later So the uh, EEPROM eraser is finished, it's ready, but I switch this off. Next step is open the tray, put the EEPROM back in the programmer, and then we switch to the program. So here we're back in the program. And now we read again and check if this EEPROM is empty. So read, read, and you see we have all positions FFFF. So this EEPROM is empty. And now you can program this with the other EEPROMs. They are also programmed. It's the same process. And now I have empty EEPROMs to use. This is for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the short trip to electronic basics. If I should produce more video like this let me know in, in the comments and if you like this video hit the like button if you want more of my videos subscribe to my channel and i see you in the next one